Hello, welcome back to Hazel Jane Tarot and another pick a card week ahead reading. So this reading has been filmed for Monday the 14th of September 2020. But if you are coming across this reading at a later date, please know this is intended to be a timeless reading. And so at whatever time you find this reading, um, the card pile that you choose today is the reading for your week ahead whenever you may be. So in each pile, we have three cards, which will address your energy, the energy around you in the coming week and how you can best navigate those energies. So uh, the last card is providing some advice for you. I'm also going to draw a bonus oracle card from the Personal Power Deck by Deja Druid um, to give you a little affirmation to work with for the week ahead as well. Um, and the tarot deck we're using today is the Painted Tarot by Sophie McKay Knight. So these are two independently produced tarot and oracle deck that we're using today. So to select the cards that you want to work with, um, I have three crystals. So once you've selected um, your card pile, you can see in the description box below, there should be a timestamp to take you to where in the video you will find um, you know, the your particular chosen reading. So to select your cards, wherever you are, if you can, just take a few deep breaths in and out to center yourself. Think about where you are at the moment in your life, what concerns you might have at the moment and for the coming week. And then you could gaze at the crystals that you can see here on screen. We have the Labradorite, the Selenite, and the rose quartz. Which of these crystals, which of these card piles is speaking to you today? So now you have selected your chosen um, card pile and um, we're going to start with the Labradorite reading. So if you chose Labradorite, you can keep listening. If not, you can fast forward to, um, to your reading later in the video. So the card for your energy this week is the Nine of Wands. The energy around you in the coming week, we have the Two of Pentacles. And advice for how to navigate these energies, we have the Six of Pentacles. So the Nine of Wands. It's possible that you have recently had a lot to deal with. So you could have come through a period of, of poor health or you might have been very busy um, with a lot of things on your plate and maybe be feeling quite run down. The person in the Nine of Wands shows signs of injury. They have had a period of struggle. But they've also potentially, um, in the Nine of Wands, you're at a point where you've maybe built up a certain amount of success as well. So that could be, for example, if you run your own business, um, you've maybe got to a stage where you're feeling a bit more comfortable, a bit more well established. But to get there, you've become very run down um, you might be experiencing some periods of illness and so on because you've been working so hard. But you've you really want to defend what you've created. You really want to protect um, the progress that you've made so far. So you maybe haven't been taking a break you haven't um, been stepping away you're just there trying to keep going trying to um, maintain um, the progress that you've made so far so in the nine of wands um, you, for your energy this week you could be starting this week feeling exhausted run down um, but determined to keep going determined to accomplish um, the things that you have to accomplish to keep going and maintain your success thus far. So unfortunately, this week doesn't look like it's going to be giving you a break just yet. The two of pentacles for the energy around you this week, the two of pentacles is the juggling card. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of balls to be kept in the air. Um, so this could be competing challenges um, of home and work. This could be 
different demands on your life as a carer perhaps for parents and for children this could mean that you've got some new orders coming in at work which mean you've got some extra work to contend with but whatever is going on this week you are quite busy and you've happily though the two of pentacles the the way the p person is almost always depicted in the two of pentacles is with a calm demeanor um, with a calm face and they tend to be managing to keep the balls in the air that they are juggling so while it is a challenge this coming week with a lot on your plate a lot to deal with you can cope with this this is not beyond your capability um, the things that you have to deal with you can deal with this week um, now how are you going to deal with these challenges and do everything you need to do with grace and successfully this week the advice you've been given here is the six of pentacles so the six of pentacles is concerned predominantly with money with finance with your finances so it could be that the work that you're doing this week will lead to a little bit more um, financial security for you. Um, that the income that you're generating is, you know, is positive. It's going to put you in um, in a more secure position. So that could help keep you focused, keep you motivated through the coming week. But the Six of Pentacles is also a card of charity. And um, I guess it depends on what the challenges are. That you're taking on this week maybe some of the things you have to do are for other people they might not all be, all be things to do with um you know maintaining and protecting your business or your your passion project or your hobbies or whatever it is that you um have been working so hard on some of the things that you're having to juggle this week could be to do with caring for others um or you know doing something to help someone else out and by trying to bring your focus to the importance of helping other people you know that you're maybe in a fortunate position you've maybe got some resources behind you or you've got the time or you've got the skills that are needed to assist um in the ways that you're being asked to assist this week so by by trying to take the focus away from maybe yourself and your own um your own desire you know your own priorities and your own um understandable need to you know have a bit of a rest um after all the work that you've done um over you know the weeks leading up to now um if you're able to try to think a little bit of others and how you you know their needs and how you're able to help them that will also help you to get through the challenges and the juggling um that's ahead of you this week and hopefully help you to feel good about the work that you're doing and how you're able to um, help and support others through your efforts so we're going to have a look here at the personal power deck um, for an affirmation to help you get through these challenges as well and we've pulled today i am worthy So considering that you maybe are feeling a little bit run down or up against it this week, um, you might be you might be experiencing feelings of you know self doubt um, when you have a lot to take on, you have a lot to deal with, um, and you might be wondering, are you up to it? Are you up to the challenge? So this card reminds us that you are capable and you can do it but also that if you need a rest you know you can take it as well you are worthy you don't have to prove yourself to anybody else you are worthy as you are so you know if this defensive position um, and this kind of exhausted energy that you have at the outset of this week is to do with feeling like you need to prove yourself remember that you don't need to do that that you are worthy as you are okay i hope that reading has been helpful to you 
and then we're going to move on to the selenite reading. So, if you chose the selenite today, your energy is the knight of wands. The energy around you in the coming week is the knight of swords. And how best to negotiate these energies? We have the Ten of Cups. Okay, this looks like an exciting week ahead for you. Um, a lot of motion, um, a lot of progress is going to be happening for you this week. So your energy, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a passionate knight. So you are excited you're fired up by whatever it is that you're involved with at the moment. So whether that's a relationship or whether that's, um, you know, a hobby or a business project or your, your paid employment or whatever it may be that you're involved with this week, the priority that you have right now, you are excited by it. You are ready to move forward. You might want to just get going without necessarily taking a lot of time to think about things. Um, but the reason you're involved is because you really care about this project. The energy around you, there's a lot of momentum coming from you and also coming from your environment. So you could be collaborating with somebody on a project or you might be involved in a group with other people. And they are also really keen to move forward. They are really... Um, really energized on this as well what i see as the difference here is the people around you we've got the knight of swords so it could be that while you are working together on the same project or the same um the same thing together um their priorities or their reason for being involved with this is slightly different from yours um the knight of swords is more to do with um like an intellectual engagement with a project, a sense of crusade, um, of like a, an idea that this person holds very highly. So, for example, if this is a relationship that we're looking at here, like a romantic relationship, you could be really keen to get involved in this relationship because you are sexually attracted to the other person. You know, you just really want to, to be with them. Whereas they also really want to be with you, but their interest is coming from more of an intellectual side. Like they are not saying they don't fancy you, but <laughs> that their interest is coming more from they really enjoy talking to you. They love sharing ideas with you. Um, and that is how, you know, this relationship sparks their interest and makes them want to move forward with it. So if that's the situation that we're looking at here, um, it's just important that you recognize that and you know make time for those stimulating conversations as well as whatever else it is that you're prioritizing um in this week ahead in the relationship equally on the other side it could be that we're talking about um being involved in activism so maybe the people who you're involved with in the, um, a group say if, just to give an example you might have joined an environmental activism group the other people in the group might be very passionate, very keen on progressing with their ideas because they maybe have studied um, the issues at hand. They've got the statistics and facts um, behind them. They're really good at debating the ideas and so on. Whereas maybe you just really care about it. Like you just really care about nature or the environment. You really care about animals, whatever the issue is. And you just want to help because it, it has touched you in a kind of emotional visceral way and perhaps you might not be able to you know win a debate about the issue but you're definitely there you're willing to show up and be involved because you care and um, whereas the the priorities and the motivations of some of the people that are around you is slightly different so depending on what situation this speaks to I mean I hope if you're watching this video and you've chosen selenite you know what situation that this is about um, whether it's about a relationship, a, a dynamic at work, um, a dynamic in, in the home between you and another person who you just 
look at things in a slightly different way, but you're both moving together in the same direction. How to best navigate this energy? We've got the Ten of Cups. So this is nice positive outcomes or kind of uh, advice for you. Um, because you can see, you know, you're working together, you're moving in the same direction. So even though how you've both come to this relationship or how you've both come to this issue or this job that you're working on together, despite your different priorities, um, you're, you're able to collaborate and work together successfully. The Ten of Cups is an emotionally harmonious card. We've got um, different people collaborating, working together effectively. So if this was a home, we would say, you know, it's a happy family. But if this is a workplace, it's a group of people collaborating successfully. You know, if it's um, an activism group, this is a group of people who are able to come together and connect as individuals and join together on the same cause. So by remembering that you all have, even though a slightly different approach, that you all care about the same thing, you're involved in this relationship together, you're involved in this project together, and you can be really successful if you collaborate. So that's really encouraging for um, this week ahead. So a little affirmation for you then from the personal power deck. We've got, I am knowledge. Oh, that's interesting, considering these differences here. So if you are in a situation where you've maybe been debating with other people and you have felt a little bit wrong-footed or you do feel like you are um, you're the person in this dynamic who doesn't know as much about the situation, um, you know, that the person that you're working with or collaborating with or your partner in your your um in your relationship keeps bringing up facts and figures and dates and 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 you feel like your passion and your commitment is being undercut by you know their commitment their fixation on facts and and figures these are things you can find out you know if you need to get a little bit of um facts and figures behind you to help you to explain your passions to other people you can find those things out you can look it up in a book you can look it up on the internet you can get a little bit of evidence behind you but what this card reminds us is that you you are knowledge it says i am knowledge you actually do know maybe more about these issues than you think you do so don't let the person in your life who is very ideas focused who's very fact focused don't make them let you don't let them make you feel like you know less. You know, you do have knowledge. And even if your knowledge comes from a more visceral, experiential place rather than from, you know, from books and websites, you do have knowledge that you can bring to this situation. And remember, if you work together and remember that you both care about the same thing, um, even though you look at it in different ways, you can successfully collaborate this week. So that is our Selenite reading for the week ahead. I hope that has been helpful for you. And finally, let's have a look at Rose Quartz. So your energy is the Four of Wands. The energy around you, we have the world. And your advice for how to navigate these energies this week is the Knight of Coins. Oh, lovely. Did you just get married? <laughs> There's a, this seems like a really lovely um, week for you this week ahead. So your energy, um, the Four of Wands, is a really stable card. It's a card of celebration. So it could be that, you know, you are attending um, a celebratory event this week, like a wedding or a birthday or um, something like that, that you are, you're feeling really good about your connections, your home life, your family, your relationship with your partner, your children, um, whatever, wherever it is that you live, your domestic situation, things are good at the moment or you feel good about things at the moment. You feel that you're in a stable position. You feel happy and maybe the urge to celebrate is there as well. Um, the Four of Wands very often is the, thought of as like the marriage card or the celebration card. So um, that is, uh, you know, you're feeling really positive and really stable um, about your home, your domestic situation at the moment. 
the energy around you is the world. How wonderful. So this suggests that, you know, you're feeling good about your situation right now. And, you know, that's justified. The world is a card that brings together all different um, and all different opposing energies in a balanced and really beautiful way. So the energies at play in your life at the moment are all in balance in a positive way for you. So that could be work and home. It could be the different personalities within your home life. You know, every everything's working at the moment. Everything is flowing in a good way. And there's a sense with the world that maybe something has changed recently. So maybe you've got a new job or you have just got married or you've just moved into a new home or something like that. And this new level that you've come to in your life, this new stage is working out so far. Everything feels really good. Everything um, it feels worth celebrating right now. So how can you navigate these energies? I mean, apart from just enjoy it, because this seems like a really nice week for you um, this week. Um, the advice you've got here is the Knight of Coins. So the Knight of Coins is the slow knight, is the steady knight, the one who has a job to do and takes it seriously and slowly. So in this context, you know, I would see that as, you know, don't, be rushing ahead to the next thing yet. Um, sometimes when we're moving through life, there's a there's a pressure to move to the next stage all the time. You know, if you get married, people are immediately saying, oh, when are you going to have a baby? As soon as you have a baby, someone's asking you, when are you going to have another baby? You know, you've only been going out with your girlfriend for, you know, six months and some, everybody's asking you, when are you going to get engaged? As soon as you're engaged, when is the wedding? You know, everything is... Society sometimes feels like it's rushing us on to the next stage of our life. And this card is reminding you to just take it slow. Enjoy where you're at right now. There's no rush to get to the next stage or any final destination. You know, just enjoy where you're at this time in your life. You, you've got a stable, happy moment in your life right now. And this card is reminding you to just take it slow and enjoy it. The Knight of Coins also includes this idea of, you know, stewarding, of taking care of what you've got. So maybe be mindful of that. You know, if you, um, that might be taking care of another person in your life. It might mean taking care of your home. Um, but, you know, you've got to do, you do what you have to do um, on a daily basis. You know, there's always mundane chores, even when you are, in a, in a happy situation, you know, you still got to wash the dishes and, and, you know, those types of mundane tasks still need to be done. So, you know, do what you've got to do on a day to day basis, but don't be feeling like you've got to gallop ahead to the next thing um, because you're in a lovely place right now and you might as well enjoy it. Now, an affirmation from the personal power deck then. We've got I am a creator. So, um, apart, <laughs> sorry, apart from, you know, as I, as I pulled those other cards and I was thinking, are you, have you just got married? You know, um, the first thought <laughs> I'm having here is, hmm, are you pregnant or have you just had a baby? Um, some of those, uh, energies could be at play with these other cards as well. Um, and, uh, you know, if you have just had a baby, if this is this whole new world that you've moved into in your domestic situation, this night of coins, meaning to take it slow, take it day by day. I mean, that really resonates to that situation because my goodness, there's a lot to get used to and a lot of new tasks to take on um, when you have a new baby. So um, if that's the situation we're looking at, um, you know, that that could really resonate. But I am a creator um, that means so much more than just having a child. I mean, there are so many ways that we create as people. Um, apart from the, you know, there's obvious things like creating art, creating music, writing and so on. But, you know, many of the things we do every day are creative as we come up with, you know, solutions to problems we're presented with or, um, you know, so in this joyful time that you're in this week, is it possible that this could inspire 
um, some new creative project from you this week that you might want to journal and scrapbook about what's happened um, recently or you might want to paint or you know do something do something new and creative um, with this lovely energy that you've got right now okay so I hope that reading has been helpful to you As I do these um, pick a card readings, you know, for whoever stumbles across it on um, on YouTube and whenever you might be watching it. Um, these, you know, I don't know what cards are going to come up and the, the readings are sometimes so specific. I'm really curious, is, is this, has this resonated with you? You know, did this reading find the person who needed to hear it? So if you've watched this video, if it has resonated with you, I would love it if you commented below and let me know um, how you find your reading. And um, if you would like a more in-depth personal reading with me, you can head over to uh, hazelgeantaro.bigcartel.com um, to have a look at the readings I offer and my rates. And I would be delighted to work with you and give you a more in-depth personal reading. So thank you so much for watching today. And um, if you'd like more content like this, um, please subscribe and I'll see you again soon.